It's important for us all to understand a crucial aspect of family. What's never been discussed or assessed or even appreciated is the fact that men created family, not women. Women can't form families. They can only bear children. A mother and children is just that, a mother and children. Family exists when the father is together with mother and child. Before there's any such thing as marriage, and certainly before any such things as child support agencies and law courts, men decided that rather than leave child rearing to women, they would stay with mothers and take their role as provider and caregiver. From this family unit created by men grew communities and towns and cities and then countries. Civilization as we know it arose out of the simple decision of men to stay with their children. So why is it that in most presentations of family life that you'll see on television and in film, fathers are maligned as irresponsible, irrelevant and even dangerous? Fathers are alcoholics, fathers are idiots, fathers abuse their wives and children, fathers are gamblers, fathers don't provide, fathers simply leave the household. Was your dad in Vietnam? I don't know, he disappeared when I was two. I haven't seen him since. My old man was an abusive drunk who abandoned his family. My father, he left me when I was a child. You can even keep a beer for yourself. Huh? Oh, no. My dad used to drink. I know my father abandoning us and only showing up in my life when he needs a place to sleep or a free prostate exam is probably going to be an issue. What happened to your arm? My dad drinks, too. I can't let Ronnie down. You know how many times he gave my mother money when my father wouldn't? That's my dad. Let's just say he wasn't much of In a shitty little apartment with five brothers and sisters and a psychotically drunk father. Hey, bunch of pops. Never met him. So your siblings, their fathers? You know how it is. Two different fathers. Either one of them help out? CC used to, but he went away and I never met the other guy. Writers never miss an opportunity to throw in casual, anti-father attacks. One customer had an out-of-state warrant uh, for child support. He used to say about pops, no child support, no calves. See, no one's ever stood up for Worm. The guy's been kicked around his whole life, from his father on down. My father was an evil, abusive man. And he killed my mother when she was sleeping. Cute sound bites are put into scripts at every available opportunity. We can't make fathers want to stay in their kids' lives, we can't uh, solve poverty. Crime is indeed linked to fatherlessness, but this is not a case of men abandoning families. It's about men being forced away from families by either the state or by toxic women. Men have to prove their worthiness as decent father material. Women never have to do anything besides get themselves pregnant. We could be together. God, get real, Aaron. Even if the test comes back the way you want, what kind of father do you think you'd make? You're out all night with your idiot headbanger friends. You, you, you can't hold a job. You can't even clean up after yourself. Would you want a father like you? All I'm doing is looking out for my son. Can't you see that? But the question that's never addressed on our screens is if he's not father material, why have his baby? And what makes you think he knows a damn thing about being a father? He's a good guy who wants to take care of his child. It's more than you can say for a lot of men. He's a good father. Better than most. Better than most? What does this mean? What's the writer trying to achieve with a hateful remark like that? I take it personally. Why does the BBC think it's okay to use my own license fee money to attack me in this way? They wouldn't dare to even think of a similar anti-Jew remark, but anti-man is just fine.